All right, for those of you working with a local install, um, there are a couple nodes we're going to want to um, install for this week. Uh, so I'll go through those now, and I'll talk a little bit what they do, and we'll just find them really quickly. And then uh, this week's lesson will actually use them and, and sort of uh, show how they work, that sort of thing. So as always, to install our nodes, we're going to go to the manager. Then we're going to go to custom nodes manager. And we'll see here. Uh, also, I should mention, there have been a lot of updates to Comfy UI recently that are actually a little bit different from the uh, version Run Comfy. So if the interfaces don't match up, that's OK. Um, it mostly just means like uh, there's slight differences. And I assume Run Comfy in the next couple weeks will probably update to those versions. Um, but mostly, you can still find the nodes. The, the interface might be different, but the nodes will still be the same. So the first one we're going to actually install are a couple of these two that are right here. So we're going to install the Comfy UI Impact Pack. So we'll just go ahead and hit install. I actually don't think we're going to use Impact and Inspire Pack this week, but they're pretty much like hands down like the go-to tools for a lot of things. I mean, you'll notice the person that makes the Comfy UI Manager also made both of these. So in that regard, it's like they're definitely like some of the most popular ones. And this person now works at Comfy Org as well. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future we actually see like they are like fully integrated into Comfy when it actually loads up. I would love to see Comfy Manager just be a part of Comfy. Um, for a reason, it still isn't, but I imagine that might change in the near future. Um, so we're going to install Impact Pack. Then we're going to install Inspire. I don't know how long this takes. So I might pause the video and come back when this finishes. Let's see. OK, it looks like that took maybe a minute or two. Um, I'm going to go ahead and install Inspire Pack. All right, that one actually took a little bit less time. Uh, the next one we want to install are what's called Chris Tools. So C-R-Y-S. And you'll see that um, it shouldn't take too long to find it. Just type in C-R-S. C-R-Y-S. I, I can never spell that. Um, and then you'll hit Install here. This comes with a bunch of metadata tools, which I don't know that we're actually going to look at much this week. But um, again, it's another one of those nodes that just comes pre-installed. Like basically anything that has over 500 stars or so um, in the manager is going to generally be a thing that everyone installs and uses. Um, so this will be a nice uh, tool that will allow us to actually look at the metadata live um, in our uh, workflow. And now we need to install the Eden tools. Um, this is actually not that popular of a one, which I'm kind of surprised about. Um, if you're familiar with Eden.art, uh, that's Gene Kogan and Xander Stiebenberger's, uh startup. Um, I will actually be talking about Eden quite a lot this week because they also have a really great Aura trainer. Um, but uh, they also have made their own custom set of nodes. And while I don't use a lot of them, um, there is one that uh, they built that I'm kind of shocked no one else has. Um, their node, they have a node in their tool set that it allows you to run Clip Interrogator um, through uh, Comfy, which is pretty amazing. Um, and we'll look at that this week. So we're going to install this one as well. So go ahead and hit install. OK, and we also need what's called the RG3 set. So you just type in RG, the two letters, and then 3 spelled out. Um, and you'll see there is a. Uh, thing called RG3's Comfy UI Nodes. Um, this is going to allow us to do some stuff with seeding. It's also going to allow us to uh, spit out any strings or integers we want from uh, any of the data we have, which is actually quite helpful for debugging. So I definitely recommend installing this one. So go ahead and hit install. OK, apparently I really screwed up. There's like more nodes we need to install here. Um, in case you can't tell, this is why you should use Run Comfy because you don't have to do all this shit. Um, so there's two more nodes we need to install, or two more extension packs, essentially. Um, the other one is this, by this uh, person called Cubic, and it is the Comfy UI IP Adapter Plus node. Um, now, we're actually not going to look at IP adapters this week. And in fact, there's a better IP adapter uh, extension pack I like. But there's a particular tool with this one that is helpful, which is uh, the prepping images for Clip Vision. We'll talk about this when we actually do the tutorial. Um, but install this one. And the other one we need is by Surge, Surge SDXL. Um, so there's actually one little tool we're going to use in here, which is the prompt combiner tool. Um, so again, we're not really using SDXL in any way here. Um, this is 
my least favorite part about Comfy is stuff gets named SDXL and you think it's for SDXL only, and then you find out there's other nodes in here that are really helpful. So we're gonna install this one as well. Okay, I think that covers everything we need to install for this week. Um, so now that we've installed those nodes, just a reminder that you need to restart your machine. So uh, locally, that means you can probably just restart it. On Colab, what that means, I'm actually gonna stop the instance and restart it. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that if you are using Colab. Um, for local folks, you can use the restart button. It usually works as is. For run comfy folks, you'll, we'll show you in, in class, but like you need to like restart here and then restart in comfy and then refresh your browser. It's a little messy, but it works. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit restart here. And this might actually just work as is, uh, but usually what I like to do, in fact, is go back to my Colab notebook and I'll hit stop here and then I'll rerun it. Uh, that might be a little bit of overkill. It's probably fine just to restart directly from the browser, but I like to be sure, because um, sometimes I have run into issues in the past um, that might be bugs that are now fixed, but um, whatever it is, I usually do this just to be sure. Um, so I'll get a new URL open, and then once we've done that, we can go ahead and check and make sure everything is installing correctly. So we'll see uh, Impact, Inspire, Chris Tools is now in opening. Um, the one thing to mention is the reason I don't really recommend that people go crazy and just like install every single node is uh, it does take a little bit of extra time to load every one of these custom nodes. Um, you know, you load up 50 of them and it might take you an extra minute or two to, to load what you need to load. Um, so in general, like keep it pretty lean, only install what you need to install. Uh, but in some cases, I don't know, maybe you do need to install a bunch of things. Um, but you'll see here now, I've got a bunch of custom nodes that have been imported. Uh, you'll see it does take I don't know if this is the Eden that takes a little while or the crystals that takes a little while, but some of these take a little bit of time to really install everything. Uh, but at this point, we've got our, our URL here, so I can go ahead and open this. And I'm just going to double check to make sure that the nodes that I wanted to install are working. Um, I won't explain them here. We'll, we'll talk about them more uh, in this week's video tutorial, but uh, it's always good just to double, double check and make sure that everything is uh, installed correctly. It always takes a little bit of time to load the manager in and other things. Um, this is where a local install, if you've got the GPU, is actually a little bit nicer in Colab because Colab just takes a little bit, just takes a couple more minutes than usual um, compared to local. So now I can like double click over here and let's just see um, if we've got show metadata. So actually what we're going to look at this week is, I just type in metadata and there's a load image of metadata. So we'll look at that this week. Um, I won't cover it too much here. Um, oh, there is one more node we need to install. Okay, we'll come back to that. Uh, sorry, I'm recording these sort of non-sequentially. Uh, so we've got Chris tools in here. Um, if we type Inspire, um, you'll see there are a bunch of Inspire tools. Again, we're not really going to use a lot of these yet today, um, but we will use some of the preprocessors in the future. Um, impact, let's make sure the Impact pack loaded. I see a bunch of things here. Um, we will again not need to work on those just yet this week. And then lastly, I want to um, make sure clip interrogator shows up. So clip in, let's try it this way, interrogator. There we go. Okay, so cool. So we'll talk a lot about this one. Um, and that loads with the Eden pack. So, so far, so good. Um, there's one more node we're going to look at installing. It'll already be installed by the time I talk about this because I'm editing this video non-sequentially. But uh, yeah, this is a weird way to wrap this up. Okay, so this works. Uh, we're good to go. Um, I'll see you uh, when we actually do our tutorials.